I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting to do a video with a title that involved the Glazers and selling Man United and for there to be some genuine optimism and news behind it. But I'm bringing it to you today after reports have come from Bloomberg that the Glazers are open to and willing to sell a minority stake in Manchester United. You're going to say, ah, oh, Sam, it's a minority stake. What does that mean? They're still going to have control. Let me explain all the news to you and explain exactly why this is the start of something it feels like something's been going it, feel, it feels different at the moment with with manchester united with what we're doing this summer with the glazers it feels like a strategy has come to an end that's what i want to explain in this video let's get straight into it make sure you drop a like on the video because if you're not going to like a video with the glazer setting man united you're never going to like a video i swear to god this is coming from bloomberg saying that the glazer family is open to selling a stake in manchester united their sources have confirmed. Let's go through and let's read the news together before we react to it. Saying the Glazer family would consider selling a minority stake in Man United, people familiar with the matter said, as pressure mounts on their ownership of the club. The owners have held some preliminary discussions about the possibility of bringing in a new investor. And the people said that, asking not to be identified because the information is, of course, confidential. The Glazer family is not, re not yet ready to see control of Manchester United overall. But the minority stake is the conversation. Go down here a little bit further. Discussions are ongoing and there's no certainty, of course, that the Glazers will decide to set a stake. And a representative for Man United and the Glazers declined to comment. Well, there's a surprise. Now, this is not the only smoke we've had today when it comes to the Glazers and the conversation about setting the club. Miguel Delaney from The Independent, he reported this earlier this afternoon, saying that there is growing optimism that the Glazers could finally sell. A series of industry sources insist the biggest takeover in global sports history is a strong possibility in the next 24 months. We go down here and we read a little bit more. At least three consortiums are circling Manchester United with a view to a formal bid in a belief that the Glazers would sell the club for $6 billion. $6 billion. We'll get into that later on. The Independent has been told of a number of meetings between high net worth individuals and brokers since at least May due to a growing feeling in the industry that the deal of the century could be on. Of course, Jim Ratcliffe is mentioned down there. Now, your immediate reaction to this news may well be one that's a little bit negative. A little bit negative because of the idea that we're talking here about selling a minority stake in Manchester United. That would you'd be like, Sam, that just allows the Glazers to maintain and continue having control of Man United. How is that going to change anything? What I want to say here is this is exactly how the Glazers took control of Manchester United in the first place. What they did is they gained a minority control of the club and bit by bit, percentage by percentage, shareholding by shareholding, they gathered up the shares of Manchester United. Of course, the big one that everyone will, will remember was the Magnia and McManus. Now, if you, uh, if you know about Manchester United, you know about these two owners, you'll know about the Rock of Gibraltar. That horse, Fergie was the part owner of it with Magni and McManus. It was a fallout. They then decided to walk away from Manchester United. They then decided to sell their shares to the Glazers that I think increased their ownership to something like 60 odd percent. Eventually, the Glazers swept up enough, gla sorry, the Glazers swept up enough shares that they could take Manchester United off the public limited company, remove them from the stock exchange, and that's how they gained control. And then Manchester United sold the rest of the shares to the Glazers. Boom, they've got 100% of the club. This, if this is correct, and the Glazers are willing to sell a minority share, that could be the beginning of the same process, but in reverse. Bit by bit, that's how the Glazers controlled Manchester United. And maybe bit by bit, that's how the Glazers will be letting go of Manchester United. In a dream world, in an ideal world, tomorrow, Jim Ratcliffe comes in, six billion up front, let's go. Let's have a party, pop the champagne, get the parade. I swear, oh my God, the parade in Manchester when the Glazers leave is going to be as big as that one in 99, I swear to God. But that's, that's the ideal situation. But this is definitely something to put a smile on your face, people. This is, this is not just having conversations about uh, the Glazers need to leave Manchester United, X, Y, Z. This is the Glazers genuinely considering selling part of their ownership of the club. And that is a major step in the right direction. I've done this video earlier today. 
uh, I'm using Swiss Rambles fantastic thread that he did on Twitter, sort of breaking down the financials of the whole Glazer situation, really explaining in no uncertain terms just how much, oh, how much they've ruined our club, just how much those, well, not just those two there, but the Glazer family and their greed has taken so much out of our club. But I've, I've explained it, and I, haven't, I've, I'm, I think I might do another video on this separately still. The way that the Glazers are acting this summer, it feels a bit different to what we've seen before. And the reason I say that is because every time we finish outside the top four, bar two seasons, one under Mourinho and one under Solskjaer, we've always invested heavier the next year so we can get back into the Champions League. But it feels like after the Super League collapse, and that was their big, that was their end game. That was the dream. If the, if if the Super League had happened, I'm not sure the Glazers would have ever sold Manchester United. Seriously, that's how bad that would have been for Man United. But it didn't happen. Fans made their voices heard around the country and we all got that cancelled. Big up to everybody who got involved in that. But the Glazers, they're not implementing their strategy, strategy this year. And their previous strategy has always been to hold on to Manchester United and the legacy worth that we've had. They've just they've enjoyed riding that wave for years and years and years, but it can't happen anymore. We've had financial stagnation the last five to six years, no commercial growth. The value of Manchester United as a brand and an asset is from this point onwards only going to go downhill unless investment happens. And that goes against the business model of the Glazers. And that's why I believe we're having genuine conversations about the idea that they're willing to sell a minority stake. I don't want it to be a minority stake. I want it to be a majority stake. I want it to be 100% of the club. But this is the beginning. This is the start of a conversation that we have been wanting for years and years and years. And it's a conversation that I've tried to uh, push, force, do whatever I can to help over the years because I've known deeply that the Glazers are the biggest problem at our club. And until they sell, we cannot get our club back. But them being open here to selling a minority stake, that is the first step in the right direction. That is a, a change in, in a shift in narrative and a shift in approach from the Glazers, who previously up until this season, this point, haven't even entertained the idea of it. But I'm telling you, them taking out 11 million, was it 12, 11, 20 million per year in dividends is nothing compared to the overall value of Manchester United that they could get if they decided to sell. So on Monday, if oh, sorry, wrong one. If you're on Monday and you're going to the game at Old Trafford, please get involved in the protest with the 1958. They're meeting up at the Tollgate pub. Uh, I think it starts at seven. Yeah, the march starts at seven to the forecourt outside Old Trafford. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be part of it and I can't wait to be part of it. But as I said, I, I've waited so long to be able to have a conversation here about genuine news from industry sources in the business game, that the Glazers are open to selling Manchester United. This is the energy we've been wanting. This is the energy we've been needing. And I swear to God, and I don't mean this sarcastically, I would take a summer of no signings. I would take a season of, well, what we've seen so far. Hell, I'd even take a relegation scrap if it meant that they left our club. And I mean that. I really, really do. Uh, and I don't, think I, would, I don't think I would step back from that and be like, oh, maybe I was going a bit overboard there. Genuinely, I'd take no more signings this summer if it meant that the Glazers were walking towards that exit, were walking towards that door. Because if it starts here with a minority stake in the exact same way that they ended up buying shares from Magnier and McManus and they ended up getting 100% control of Manchester United, if they sell that minority stake, they've let someone in the door. A new investor comes in that door. Who is that new investor? We don't know at this particular moment in time. And it's unlikely that names will come to the surface anytime soon. But Michael Knighton and his consortium, whatever's going on there, that's created noise. Elon Musk being Elon Musk, that's created more noise. And here we've got the Glazers being open to selling a stake. And talks are already underway with investment firms. This is big news. This is the news we want. And I want to continue pushing any news like this that I can do to use this platform to push it. You're damn straight. I'm going to do it. Everybody keep doing what you're doing. Make sure you go to the process if you can on Monday. But I hope this is the start of something. I really, really hope.